Hello everybody, I'm Bear Skills. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Long Dark. So, we're currently on day 65. Day 64, working into 65, I guess I should say. And uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, so I actually seen in the comments down below, the awesome people at Steady Entertainment uh, wanted to see some Ash Cannon survival. And it reminded me we still haven't been there yet to get the backpack and the crampons. So we still need to do that. In fact, we're going to start heading over there this episode, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't heard of Steady Entertainment, uh, they're, you know, a decent channel of growing that, uh, you know, uh, they're do, they do podcasts, stuff like that. And, you know, they do really good content. So if you guys uh, would like to see any of that, make sure to go check out their stuff. They do really good work. They do put in a lot of effort into their videos, a lot of time. So definitely go check them out and you know make sure to subscribe to them you know it's a great channel they're doing a giveaway at like a thousand subscribers so if you guys are interested in that uh definitely head over there and check that out um so for now <clears throat> we need to get prepared for ash canyon survival which means what time is it? it's almost night time and we've got some something on us yeah we got some meat okay with uh, yeah, well, actually, this is like the last of our meat, I believe. That's fine, though. A few things upstairs we can grab for some food. <clears throat> now, we're actually going to head out Um, here in just a few minutes. But we need to sort through some of our stuff. We definitely need to sort through some of our stuff. So, for instance, uh, we need to get rid of these. So, let's do this. Put you in there and we need to also put you in there and what else hmm. it's probably good for now okay we need to drop this we don't want to carry that with us this is the one we've used we need to drop both these arrows Because I want to take a fresh bow and fresh arrows. So we got two fresh arrows here. We got our rest of our arrows over here in one of these cabinets. Where are they? There they are. So let's grab 10, huh? About that. How much weight does that put us at? Okay, like four pounds for 12 arrows. Which should be fine. That should be a good amount. Um one of these has our revolver rounds in it. Yeah, there we go. And how many should we take? 40, 30, 40. Hmm, so 46 in total. Oh, heck, they're so light. We could just take all of them, really. One point six pounds. Honestly, we might as well just take all of them, really. Um, so that's cool. We will grab. We got two flares. We'll take two with us for emergencies. We got a knife. Um, I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna sharpen a few things before we go. And hmm, what else? We take all these with us. I mean, we probably, I don't know. Do we, we need that many? I don't know. You never know. And they're so light, we might as well take them. We just might as well. Just in case we come across a lot of trouble. We got two Go Go Energy Drinks. Um, we'll get more at Thompson's Crossing. There's almost always a uh, Go Go Energy Drink in the gas station. We um, need to find few other things um yeah let's uh how many what do we got for fire starting this um yeah we'll grab this should be plenty we'll actually grab this good fire starter and we'll put this one back for now because we don't need to worry about that um put you in there take one book we can leave that. 
take one book with us just in case it's like guaranteed fire and what else i'm trying to do what else we can take we have accelerants that's fine hmm traveling knife that's what i wanted so we'll put you in there and that's fine take the better bedroll we do have a whetstone on us to repair our current tools and hmm, what else do we have on us that we don't need this is all fine um it's all fine we won't need this so we can put that next to the rifle and what else do we not need take a crowbar let's sort through here we got everything we want there here um five of these three of those and that's fine yeah i like this that's cool um seven pounds in our pack that we're not wearing we need to drop those we'll do that upstairs here's fine here's fine here's not fine we need to drop some stuff off here we don't want to be carrying all this with us we'll just drop that stuff off upstairs though <clears throat> so when we go through ash canyon we're going to go through the bottom through uh, way through echo ravine and we're going to do that because the route is a lot simpler believe it or not for me at least because i went through there a few times on my own and it's always been easier for me to just do that through the bottom and come out the top if i'm going to come out at all We'll grab you, because why not? Um, do we have any tea on us? Tea. Tea. We don't. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, nine cups. Eh. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Yep, yeah, and... Took a couple granola bars, just in case. Emergency food, basically. And what are these drawers? We got, we got in here. Um, hmm. A few of these. We'll take those. And got some room in here. I think one of these we had animal skins in. Uh, books, coffee. Nothing we really care about. And here, yeah, yeah, we can put the uh, animal stuff in here. And we'll put, uh, we'll put this uh, other drawer, same with these. Put you in there, and that should be good. We won't need those. We already have five dressings already made. You won't need these. Probably won't need these either. The stick is fine. The stick is definitely fine. Um, so we're good on the weight. We need some cloth though. And we got time before we head out, so because we're gonna have to head out in the morning. So let's break this down. We need some cloth. I want to have how much is it? Five cloth. So that's not a lot. There's four there. Break down another curtain. We'll have enough. I want to have enough in order to make a snow shelter, just in case. Because where we're going, there could be blizzards. We're going to be going through Pleasant Valley, so there's almost always blizzards there at some point. Same with Timberwolf. And the fog can be brutal through any of those places. And if so, that that does happen, we want a snow shelter. Or we could potentially die. Because if that happens, you just need to stick around. Emergency stem. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Just in case. And we have... How much cloth we got? Should have, like, five. Yeah, fine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, how's our cabin fever doing? It's kind of just there, hanging out. But 
that's okay. We don't need to worry about the cabin fever. We'll be leaving soon. Uh, weather's kind of eh. Oh, we didn't. We forgot to grab our bow, didn't we? Yeah, we need to grab our replacement bow. So I made two of them extra. That way, if we wanted to travel, we could just grab a fresh bow and not worry about crafting one. That's why I got two under here. So yeah, we'll have that. And uh, we'll head over to the trapper's cabin. Just see if there's any little thing we might want to grab. But we're mostly going to be going there because I want to grab a little bit of coal. Those are just stones. I want to grab a little bit of coal because it's an hour fire and heats up the fire really fast. Hey, look, there's a deer. Hello, deer. How you doing? Um, but I want to grab a piece of coal. We need, to, we need one because it's the fastest way to warm your fire up to where you're actually getting some warmth. So if we get into a perilous situation in which we need fire for warmth and we need it quickly, uh, we're going to need coal. So I'm going to grab a couple pieces of that. And then we'll head out. So we actually go through the dam to do this. We go through the dam. We go through there to the winding river. We go through the winding river. Probably going to be some wolves through there. Then we move into Pleasant Valley. Which we're probably almost definitely going to run into a bear there. Which is fine. Uh, you can, we can deal with them. Um, we're almost going to 100% run into quite a few wolves. So we're bringing both bow and revolver. The bow will be more for hunting, um, whereas the revolver is going to be more for uh, dropping the wolves if we need to for defense. And we've also bring in extra rounds because just in the unlikely event that we get surrounded by like a lot of them, which a lot would mean two, basically, or more, because two wolves can put an end to your run um, just as easily as six can. Uh, but we'll have uh, a lot of rounds in case we need to shoot just to scare them off. We're going to try to avoid that. I don't want to use up all my ammo just on this trip, but we're bringing it just in case. Not only that, if we need to, we can use a revolver to hunt deer and bear. Although, for the most part, I'll just be using the bow for the hunting. And we're bringing the bow also because if we do come across a moose, which, if I'm not mistaken, anything right now. moose do spawn quite frequently. Uh, throughout uh, Ash Canyon, so we should probably come across a couple through there. Yeah, there's a wolf we left. Shouldn't have came after me, man. You would have still been up and about. Um, yeah, we'll probably come across the moose. And Steady Entertainment, the guys over there, they wanted to see some Ash Canyon survival, so... There's a wolf up there. Good thing we're not going that way. Um... So we'll stay, uh, we'll go there for the backpack, we'll go there for the crampons, we'll loot the whole zone. Uh, as far as I know what to loot, I might miss a few things, so if I do, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. Uh, but we'll stay there for a few days, that way if I did miss something, you guys can leave a comment down below. To let me know I did miss something while I'm still there. And, because they wanted to see some survival, we'll stay there for a little while. Not exactly sure how long we'll stay, but we'll stay there for uh, probably at least a good week. Because there's plenty of moose through there. Man, there's bears, there's wolves. We should have plenty of food. We got like, cooking level 5. So no worry about the parasites. Meaning we can eat whatever we want, basically. So yeah. And like I said earlier, if you guys uh, are interested in like podcasts or anything like that, you know, go check out their videos. They, had, they just released one yesterday that was kind of like them uh, snowshoeing through Newfoundland. Which is in Canada. So it's almost like they live in the long dark in real life. It's kind of really cool, actually. So uh, go check that video out, too. You know, show those guys some support. Because they really, really do a lot of good work. And, uh, you know, I think their channel should be uh, seen by more people. Okay, well, it looks like we got two deer down here. Well, the bear's still hanging out over there to our right. Which is fine. We can... Leave him alone for the time being. We don't really need to worry about him. Now, I don't remember if we left the pole down here at the bottom, if it's still there, or if we picked it up. So I'm going to check there real quick. And then we're going to probably have to just go in the cave, grab a few pieces. Probably going to grab like three or four. 
and then we'll head back to the camp office, spend the night, and then we will leave. So we won't have to worry about cabin fever if we do get that. Yeah, I think the cold store right here. So that's great. We can just grab this and leave. One, two, three, four. If I can drop any of this gear. For a piece of coal, what weight does that put us at? 80 pounds. Perfect. It's only a couple pounds over our weight limit, which does put us at a slightly more sprain risk. But we still move pretty fast, so I'm not worried about that. I'd rather move a little bit slower with the gear I need to survive than move really fast with nothing I need to survive and then ultimately perish in the dark and the cold. That would be really terrible. Because we're quite a ways into this run, and I really don't want to mess it up. You know, I don't want to screw it up. So, trying really hard. Now, once we come out of Ash Canyon, we're probably... Once we come out, we'll be in Timberwolf. So, once we come out there, we are going to actually head to the summit of Timberwolf. Because there'll be good stuff there. Fire strikers, clothing. Um... Uh, which we don't really need to worry about the clothing, but fire strikers, matches, food, whetstones, tools, ammo, all that good stuff. So, it'd be def uh, definitely worth going there. And once we're done with the summit, we'll probably spend some time over at the uh, trappers, or not the trappers, uh, what's it called? The mountaineer's hut. We'll probably spend time there at the mountaineer's hut for a little while. There's a fishing hut there. We might level up some fishing while we're there. And there's probably going to be a moose throughout up there, so we'll probably get one of those. That'll give us food for as long as we need, really. I'd say a good 20, 30 days of food, at least. Oh, we sprained her wrist. I figured that was going to happen. That's fine, though. I'm not worried about healing it. Um, the only problem that we'd run into is if we run into a pack of wolves on our way back, and we needed to draw the pistol or the bow, because you guys didn't know. You know, it makes sense. If your wrist is sprained, you can't hold the revolver, you can't hold the rifle, you can't hold the bow. You get a notification that looks like that. You cannot equip a 200 weapon. Can you equip the revolver? Oh, you still can. I thought that was, uh, done. Maybe it's when you sprain both wrists you can't use it. Either way, it's fine. So I guess we still could use a revolver. But we're not going to worry about healing with a bandage. That's just a waste right now, because we're going to go to bed here in just a few minutes. Um... So actually, we can do a little sprinting here, because I want to get my awareness meter all the way down. So as to make it to where we can sleep a full, full night. We actually don't have a lot of sprint on us, because, you know, most of it's being covered up by the red. Which does kind of suck in a lot of ways. But, you know, we trade that off for being warmer, so we don't have to worry about moving this fast. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are liking the content I've put out so far, make sure to like and subscribe, as it does support the channel a ton. And don't forget, at 100 subscribers, we're doing a free giveaway of the copy of A Long Dark. Uh, we'll either do that on either the consoles, or we'll do it on Steam. It doesn't matter to me, because anybody who plays Long Dark, you know, anybody who loves Long Dark as much as me, you know, they deserve to be able to play it. And if people... You know, maybe if you're on the fence about getting it, you're not quite sure. Uh, you get the copy, maybe. And then you can just try it out for yourself. So, make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. And in other news, it's getting dark and somewhat scary out, you know? Never really like being out in the dark here, in long dark. But yeah, never, uh... Huh. Yeah. Thought I heard a wolf back there. I didn't. So we're fine still. Yeah, I don't like the, uh... I don't like being out at night. Very often. Bad things happen at night. Especially when you're sprained wrist and you're hurting and... It's getting kind of where you... It's harder to see. Slight fog. And darkness, just in general. So it's not cool. I don't really like being out in the dark. It's like the uh, the game mode where the uh, it was like pure light nighttime for the entire time you played that game mode. Like uh, it, like it was a cool game mode and all. I just you know 
It's, it was very scary, so if you're looking for more of a scary approach, that was a good game mode to be around for. I don't exactly remember what it was called, the Night Stalker, maybe? I don't know. I'll figure it out and let you guys know in the next episode, or maybe in the comments down below. Uh, I'll do a thing in the description. Yeah, we're back home, we're safe now, so we're good. And yeah. Okay, so let's step inside here. Actually, do we have any more food out there cooked? I don't think we do, but we might. I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. I forget what I do and do not have. Huh. So, oh wait, that's raw. I was going to say, like an idiot, I left uh, good old cooked meat out here. Good thing I didn't. So, we're going to have to deal with the food we have on us, which is okay. It's okay. So, let's move upstairs here. Kind of fiddle my way, around, my way in the dark here. Because of the windows. If this place didn't have windows, it'd be, like, terrible. For maneuvering around in the dark. But, uh, yeah. So, listen. We don't have any meat on us, do we? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like we're going to be eating cattails for the night. Because I don't feel like eating through my man-made food. You know, processed food like tomato soup, dog food. I'd rather... Uh, sorry. Hiccups. I'd rather, uh... <clears throat> I'd rather eat through my cattails. Because we'll be able to pick some on the way. <sighs> Especially through Ash Canyon. And it's not like we're going to be going there again. You know, once we leave... Like, somewhere like Ash Canyon... We won't be going back. Unless somebody specifically requests it. Then we might. Um, but other than that, we probably wouldn't just go back. Uh, 11 hours, we did eat and drink. Yep, we did. Cool. So, probably want to let's sleep the full 11 hours. In fact, it definitely won't. But, we'll be able to pass some time. Yeah, as you guys can see, the sprain wrist healed. You don't have to put anything on it. So, it's always good to remember that. Just so you don't waste a bandage on accident. And really, I never take painkillers for the most part. Because the pain will just wear away. I've been so hungry in my Pretty life. quickly. But I keep some on me just in case. Grab this water. And we'll drink. And let's see what the weather's like. Because the weather might uh, prohibit us from traveling on this day. If it does, we'll sleep another couple hours early. But it does sound like it might be pretty windy out there. Ah, that's fine. A little chilly, a little windy, but clear skies for the time being, at least to get to the dam. And even if we aren't able to travel into the Winding River because of a blizzard or something along those lines, we can still get through the dam. And it is morning, so no aurora. So yeah, if you guys don't know, make sure when you're coming to the dam, you go through this way. If you want to be the safest way possible, you're almost going to get sprains. But they're not that bad to deal with as long as you've got some cloth or bandages, it's fine. Um, but I, I always come through here because there's so many bad things down there. There's wolves galore down there. Although most of them are probably cleared out right now. Because we did go on a uh, really massive hunting spree there. But I would recommend just going through this way. It's really simple, it's really easy to remember. You can almost reverse it blind. And, you know, if there's a blizzard or something that's reducing your visibility. You can almost get through the entire thing without looking. And you don't have to worry about one wolf. As long as you're not, like, smelly. Like, if you've got, like, meat on you. Then you're probably going to deal with some wolves coming through. If there's a little place up here where they can come right up. Uh, I will show you guys in just a second. Hey, right here. Is it right here? No, it's not. Somewhere through here. I'll show you guys. Yeah, right through there is one of them. They can come right up. So I was right. One right through there. They can come up if you're smelly. And I think there's another uh, little clearing up here that they can come through. 
So if you're, as long as you're not smelling, you're not killing anything that attracts them, you'll be fine. Um, you won't encounter one wolf up here. So it's a really nice way to go. Yeah, here it is. Here's the big one. They can come right up to you. And there's almost always wolves down there. There's not right now, at least that I'm seeing. I wouldn't let that fool you though, because as you guys have seen in my previous episodes, uh, we've actually uh, not seen a bunch of wolves. You know, like it's like it's like one or two wolves. We go down there, and there's like five or six. So it's definitely crazy. And then here's another place they can come right up, or you can go down either way. But I recommend just going this route the entire way. And it is turning into bad weather. As I figured it probably would. Yep. Looks like a blizzard's afoot. That's okay though, we made enough progress, we can get to the dam. The fog's rolling in heavy though, which is not cool. I'll bet you there's a moose down here just to spite me. Yeah, fog. Maybe it'll just be fog. But I suspect there's probably going to be a blizzard. So we might have to spend a night here in the dam, which is fine, we can deal with that. The only thing we're really lacking is food, which we do have food on us. We can grab cattails on the way here. Which we'll probably do. And actually, so far we haven't gotten a spray, and watch me get one now that I said something. And, yep, yeah, we got one. Me and my big mouth. Ah, so there's that to deal with. You almost always get one through there. Unless you get really lucky, but for the most part, I'd rather have deal with a spray than I would a wolf attack. Because one only requires a bandage at the most to deal with. And maybe a painkiller. The painkiller just messes with your screen. doesn't mess with anything else, really. So if you can tolerate that, which I'm I'll admit... Gear. Oh, you're not dropping anything, Will. I'll admit the uh, pain screen can be a little uh, irritating. At times, it can kind of screw with you. And make the game look really weird to where it's, you know, sometimes it's gotten me lost, actually. But, uh, hard to believe, right? Kind of makes sense, though. If you're in pain, it's harder to think. So I guess they kind of simulate that with the screen, which is, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty good. It's one of the few games that can somewhat accurately, uh, depict pain in the game. And make it affect your gameplay, because, you know, it does, you know, vision kind of does do that a little bit if you're hurting. Depending on how hard, I mean, a small scratch probably wouldn't, but, you know, you sprain yourself, yeah. I would definitely say, at least for me, that's pretty accurate. It's kind of what it feels like. Hard to see, hard to think, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think all in all, they do a pretty good job. But yeah, we're here, basically. No worse for wear. Didn't even encounter one wolf. I think it's because we've cleared them out here quite a few times. Uh, back through there by the train tracks and whatnot. Through here we haven't really cleared them out, but weather is kind of kind of crappy, to be perfectly honest. It's not good weather. Now we could harvest up this up. We do it with our hands. No. All right. What if I do it with? A hatchet. I actually brought the whetstone with me and forgot to sharpen up the hatchet. That's fine. <sighs> so, what we're actually going to do is we're going to start a fire. Hmm. Yeah, let's start one out here. Cardboard matches. We don't want to use our book. We use a stick. And a cattail head, and actually we use one of our regular matches for 75%. And let's start. Come on. Start for me, fire. We'll cook this piece of meat. That'll get us through the night. Um, because I have a feeling we're probably going to have to stay here for the night. Because I have a feeling bad weather is going to happen. Maybe not over here, but I have a feeling a blizzard's going to strike soon in Pleasant Valley. That did it. Because <sighs> it would just be my luck. Okay, wow, we don't have any wood. Fair skills the idiot, as he always is. I'll put one coal. It's fine, we'll get more coal on the way. 
hour and 30 minutes. You gotta be joking. 30 minutes. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, terrible fog. Alright, add all this reclaimed wood in there. And let's cook up this steak. Get one thing of venison. Only 500 calories? I need to drop something. I guess we need a couple of cattails with that. Hey. Terrible. Um, can we cook? Anything with that? No? Alright, cool. Glad we had this talk fire. You uh, didn't really do me a lot of good. I'll take a torch, just because why not. And we will continue on. So that does kind of suck. That that's all the bigger the steak is, but it means we only got to worry about eating like one cattail and we'll be fine for the night, which is cool. Now, how do we get through here again? Um, I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah, this doorway. This doorway is the right one, the orange. And we got to head through here. Now, I always tend to head through here pretty quickly because as Aurora strikes, like right there, all them red wires and whatnot, these light on fire basically. So it's not real fun. Man, we've actually got another book here. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. Definitely, definitely. And there's actually some gear down here I left. So we can sort through that. Maybe there's something good we can take with us on our way. And then you can come over here. we got to go through here. It's not far now. Before we get out of here. Mm, there's this guy to loot. So make sure you guys loot him. I always miss him because it puts you out and you can't really see him. So I always like miss him and have to turn around and come back for him. But hmm. So papers, lantern. Yeah. It's really the only thing I see. Mm, empty. Oh, those are empty. Okay, so it's just some clothing. Nothing to really worry about, and this is the entrance out of here. Yep, yeah, um. We did bring our, yeah, we did, we did bring our lunch. Now, it's kind of foggy, and by kind of, I mean it's super foggy. And normally, I wouldn't recommend traveling in this kind of weather, and honestly, I'm probably an idiot for doing what I'm doing right now. But, I just, yep, he's after a rabbit, this is perfect, perfect time to go. Perfect time. Um, so there's usually a wolf down here, if you guys didn't know, out here on the ice. And this is why I'm traveling, because it's on the ice. It's a very linear uh, linear path, so we don't have to worry too, too much about much. Ah, but we do gotta worry about that, so that is an issue. Okay, well, we dropped the one. He got aggroed that way. We're not aggroed. But I'm not worried about him. We can pretty much forget about him for the time being. Mm, cause, and the reason I'm traveling is because basically it's just you're on the ice here. And it's actually clearing up, too. Which is cool. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a blizzard. Because that was the unfortunate. Um, but that's why I brought the revolvers right there. Now, if it would have just been the one wolf, we'd have just crouched up and got him there. Um, if you go this way, there's a cave. Um, that actually generally has some loot in it. Now, we could risk it and deal with him right now. Or actually...
perfect. Thanks, rabbits. You guys are MVPs. Now I can check in here and see if there's any good loot. Wow, it is like pitch black in here. This is crazy lantern feel. Pinnacle peaches. That's good. That's good. Could end up being cotton tooth that I'm not gonna take. Awesome. We can just cut down here and we'll jump off this little rock here. So I don't have to worry about him. Something I really like about the revolvers, I don't have to worry. Like, the one thing about the rifle, because I always forget. Because I'm an idiot. Is that when you shoot the rifle, you actually have to, you know, jack the, you know, cartridge. You know. Like it's supposed to. You know, like, it, like it, that's realistic. It does do that. But I forget that it does that all the time in this game. And that I have to worry about picking up the cartridge. Because it used to be not that way. It used to just be basically that it was just done and gone. Because there was no bleak inlet. There was no crafting. So, you know, it's kind of hard for me to remember sometimes. And we just follow this path here. And we got to come up to the right here. And I think we're done encountering wolves so far. We still might encounter one. Um, so, we still could. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 100% what the weather's going to do here, but, uh, it's looking like it's going to just kind of be foggy and dreary all day, which is cool. I don't mind that. I can deal with this kind of weather. Because we're just going through here. It's basically a linear path. So you don't have to worry about getting lost. You literally can't go either way. The only thing you'd have to worry about is getting turned around. But as long as you're careful, it shouldn't be the issue. Now, which one is it? Yeah, yeah, it's here. It's here. This is the cave. This is the cave you want to go into. This will take you over to Pleasant Valley. And I recommend taking a light. Because usually these caves are really dark. We need to put you away, actually. I don't want to shoot you accidentally trying to pick up a cattail. I don't need to hunt the cattail like it's a wolf. No need to shoot it. Uh, but yeah, it's going pretty good. Now, it's not too dark here. Um, actually, one second, though. I am going to check really quick. Just to see what time we're at. Okay, so we got plenty of time. We have plenty of time. Actually, let me just check really quick. Yeah, okay. So, sorry about that, guys. I was just checking to make sure that it is recording, what time we're at, and make sure my voice is coming through. So I've had some issues in the past with that, and honestly, it's one of the most frustrating things about doing videos. You know, I really like doing videos, actually, for you guys. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's actually really fun, but I don't like the fact that, uh, it, like, data can corrupt or whatnot, and it doesn't record properly. It, it can get pretty annoying because it takes away the content of soda. That's nice. It takes away the content you guys get to see and enjoy, which I don't like, because it makes it harder for you guys to know what's going on if you don't get to see part of it, so... I'm turning the latch on because this is just really dark and I want to get through it and not get lost. I'm also keeping my eye out for coal. In case I see any. Is this the right way? Yes. There's actually a loop down here. By way of candy bar. A backpack to search. What do you got in here? Another candy bar. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Candy bars. We got some reclaimed wood. Now, I'm not too worried about getting any of that. This is just stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it Davis. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping to get some coal. Plenty over here. Any coal? No. Hmm. Ah, cool. Perfect. 
pick a few of those. How many we got on us right now? We have six on us, which is about about right. That's a nice even number I can deal with. What weight are we at? 90, huh? Well, that's not too bad. We are getting kind of tired, though. But that's okay. Don't mind too much. The only thing we got to worry about is climbing ropes. There's a lot of ropes we got to climb over Nash Canyon. So it does, it does kind of suck. But it's fine. We can get through that. That's why we brought the energy drinks. Actually, oh, there's coal here. Nice. I'll need to remember that on my way back. Um, but yeah, we can actually just get, uh, that's what the energy drinks are for. Pound one of those, climb a rope, pound another, climb a rope. Found another, climb a rope. We'll get a third one. Hopefully we get a third one over in Pleasant Valley at the Thompson's Crossing. Um, because that's actually where we're going to head. When we head over. Okay, let's check out the weather out here. Turn our lantern off for now. Let's check out the weather out here, see what we got going on. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's manageable. It's definitely fine. Now, the question is, do I actually want to go over to Thompson's Crossing? Because I'm thinking about it, I'm like, because I could just cut across it right now and not have to worry about that. Whereas, you know, if I do go over there, it is an energy drink. We got our hunting stand up here. We'll check this out. There's a cave up here, actually, too, that uh, we'll keep in mind in case of emergency. I think we can just cut up right here. See, so yeah, I definitely keep this in mind. There's a bear around here. He's probably around somewhere through there. Just so keep that in mind. Don't let the old bear sneak up on you. Got our painting away. Um, so don't let the old bear sneak up on you. Don't let him catch you up on these hills. Almost thought that stump was the bear for a second. Let's check what we got here. Ooh, got an arrow. A candy bar. And a rifle cartridge. Look at that. That's probably not 100% arrow, though, is it? No, it's only 34%, but that's cool. It's at least one shot, and that's an arrow heavy we don't have to worry about. There are wolves over there. Rabbits here, though. And a prop deer, and a dead guy. So we got to keep that in mind. It's good loot. We're checking the cave just to see if there's anything in it. I don't remember if this is one that actually has loot that spawns in it or not. Hey, it does. Salty crackers. Mmm. Delicious. Thank goodness. 600 calories. And we keep drinking. Oh man. It's holiday right now. Definitely holiday. The only thing that's make it better would be some ketchup chips and some maple syrup. Uh, but we're going to check this guy over here. And... I'm trying to decide if we want to go over to Thompson's Crossing, because we could. The problem is, if we do that, it could lead to us doing... You know, more... Stuff. Hmm. I've got two on me. Uh, that's a hard one, really. That is a hard one. That is difficult. Um, for right now, let's just focus on getting through here. We got wolves here. As I'm sure you guys have already noticed. Uh, I'm trying to see them. The weather is getting getting bad. There's a radio tower up there. We could stop up there for the night. 
Mm, we got this road. Which, this road will actually pretty much take us to Thompson's Crossing. If I'm not mistaken. Man, you're heading, like, right for me, Mr. Wolf. Like, you know where I'm at. It's because I've got the cooked meat on me. That's why. Another wolf down here. Okay. <sighs> Figured that was probably gonna happen. Still got our stuff. Hey, we do. We have every bit of clothing on us. And we were only afflicted with minor bruising. Kind of don't like that we got hit by that guy, but that's okay. He will definitely go down very quickly. Definitely, definitely. We need to get this piece of meat eaten. Pronto. That is not helpful for us. I always forget we have cooked meat on us. I always forget because it doesn't show the smell bar. And that's like the only thing that I, I wish would uh, get changed. I wish they'd either... No, I wish they'd put like a thing, a meter, that shows that you actually have it. I guess it doesn't really need to be. I just need to be, you know, better at the game and not an idiot. But it does, you know, it, you know... I, I just forget because there's no smell meter, and I just forget I have cooked meat on me. I should have ate that though. That was my bad. The whole reason we got hit there was because of that. And of course, there's Mr. Bear. There's never not something to go wrong, I tell you that. That's fine, we can head over this way. We made a make a bit of a detour. Not an issue. Pleasant Valley's not too hard of a map to learn. This side. The other side can be a little bit more tricky in my opinion. But this side is pretty pretty simple. Um hmm. Yeah. Should be okay with the bear. I don't like that we got hit there. Ah, <sighs> with the wolf. And that is the problem, really, with, uh, my technique, is it does get you in a wolf struggle. And really, what we should do is actually shoot him farther away, is what we should be doing. But, you know, it's okay, we didn't lose any clothing, we didn't really lose any condition, really. Didn't We don't have any afflictions, you know, we didn't get bit, we didn't, we're not bloody, we're not infected, or at risk for infection, I guess I should say. So, it's not like it's too bad. The problem is, is like, that method will work on Stalker, but I have my doubts it's going to be working on Interloper, so we definitely need to get better with our stuff, better with the bow, better with the revolver. And that does take time. Hopefully by the end of this series, we are better at the game. Because after we're done here on this year on Stalker, we are going to go for a year on Interloper. I have indeed decided. Because why not? We might as well. You know, I love this game. I love playing it for you guys. And you guys seem to like this game out of all the ones I do post. You guys seem to like this one the most. So, we'll keep this one going for sure uh, if you guys do want to see the other games let me down know down below so i can still post videos on them so if there's any of those particular you know dfc game valheim uh was there another one uh, i don't think so we did a couple videos on the farmer's life one we could still do a few videos on that at some point but for right now we got the long dark and you know 
people want to see some Ash Cannon survival. So I give the people what they want. So we're heading there. But yeah, anyway, we're heading over. Taking our time. Moving along. I still don't like that we got hit there. That kind of bothers me. Because I am starting to see the flaw with the... That has to be a rock, right? Is that a wolf? I think I need to lay down. Mm, mm, mm hmm Yeah, that's the wolf I uh pegged up there. That makes more sense. I was gonna say, man. I don't remember just wolves being all sleepy sleeping, you know. I know bears can sleep on here. You can find them sleeping sometimes. I've had it happen once or twice. It's gotten mauled afterwards. I woke them up for him from their nap, but an accident, because I thought it was you know, I just I couldn't believe it. I never seen one sleeping, but yeah, it happens. But yeah, I thought maybe for a second that was a wolf sleeping there, but no, it's just the one we shot up a, up there. Yeah, we're here at the farmhouse. And how are we doing on time? We are almost at night time. It's getting to be more closer to end of the night. Better find some water. Hmm, I'm trying to decide if we want to stay here or if we want to continue on. Ah, we continue on. Maybe. We're moving kind of slow. That's okay though. Got water for the night. Enough. Yeah, yeah, we'll continue on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some... I'm gonna have to do some thinking and some research. And by research, it means I'm gonna end up making a... There are wolves there. I don't like those guys. Ah, I'm gonna have to... I don't know. I'm just gonna have to think about it. A better way to hunt wolves deal with them when they're coming after you. I mean, the way I do it is effective. Like, nine times out of ten. It's that one time out of ten, though, that it's not. And that does bother. Because that could be the end of the run. I don't know. I'll have to do some more... Some more plans, some more experience. Let me figure it out more. As we go. Because I definitely don't want to get... You know, I don't want to end the run because I did uh, something that's, you know, not very intelligent. But uh, yeah, at least we're heading the right way. We're heading over to the Prepper's Cache. We're probably going to have to deal with some more wolves on the way. And we are tired. So, if we get into a struggle... There's a good chance we're going to die. Huh. <laughs> because uh, we don't have a lot of awareness meter. If you guys didn't know, awareness meter helps you in your struggles. The less of that you have, the harder the struggles get to be. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, for right now... I'm going to drink this soda. Because the last thing I need is to start losing condition for um, those two. Because we're already going to lose a little bit from awareness, but we lose such a small amount from that compared to uh, food and water. Especially water. Water really drains you. Uh, but yeah, we got to be careful here. I don't want to get hit by any wolves. Probably would have been smarter for us to stay there at the farmhouse for the night. But... Ah, we'll just keep going. Might as well. So yeah, if you guys want to head over to Ash Canyon, you gotta head over to Timberwolf. So this is the way I go. 
because it is uh, more simple because it's very linear like uh, the winding river you are basically just following this river for a long ways and you want to come under this bridge if you don't see a bridge to go under um, you went the wrong way so it's a good landmark and up ahead there'll be another landmark I can show you guys when we come out of this little river um, area I can show you guys another landmark that might help you guys out if you're trying to go the same way I'm going But yeah, hopefully we don't come across any more wolves. If we do, I'm going to shoot a little bit earlier. We got 70 rounds. It's not worth dying over to not use a couple rounds. That's why I brought all my rounds. Because I'd rather go through I'd rather go through all 70 of my rounds and make it back home alive than I would not use them and die. So, that's what they're there for. They're there to be used. They're not there to just sit there. And in my opinion, anytime you're traveling and you come across dangers and you didn't have something that you already had, you know, you have something and you don't take it with you and you die because of that, horse. ultimately your preparations weren't used properly. So you have, if you have 70 rounds and keep them at home and you never use them and you die because you didn't, you, you didn't want to use them, they've served no purpose. You're better off to use the stuff you have to live. If you can avoid using it, there's wolves. If you can avoid using uh, all your stuff to survive, you know, if you can avoid using your revolver rounds, uh, that's ideal for as long as possible. But eventually, you know, it comes a point where you gotta decide: hmm, do I want to use them, or do I, and you know, survive through this, or do I want to not? Now we don't get this help because the revolver and the rifle are huge helps. They really are, and we don't get those in interloper. I'm gonna get the bow. And that can be uh, tough, because I don't really know how to use the bow very well. So, uh, it's kind of tough. I mean, we can use it to take down wolves the way I, my method. But, uh, the real strength of the bow is when you can crouch and use it. That's when it's really strong. Hmm. Now, I guess I just kind of did that for nothing. I thought maybe it could cut around, but I couldn't. Of course not. Why could I do that? That would be the easy way to do things. We need to grab this stick and not shoot our gun. And there's wolves, at least two here. Probably at least one more that I have not seen. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, This is kind of like the road path to follow. And we need to be careful here. I don't wanna I don't wanna get lost. But I also don't wanna, you know, get hit by wolves. And we're gonna treat this kinda like uh, we did the broken railroad. Where I'm getting weaker. If it comes down to it, I'm just I, I will shoot my way out of the situation if need be in this with the old revolver. I generally wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, and I'm gonna try my best not to because well, it's just... Honestly, it's just a bad play. <sighs> and it was, uh... You know, some people in this game, they're really good at this game. You know, and they don't really need... To use the revolver. They don't really need to do well. They don't really need anything. And I, I'm not saying I need the revolver. I'm saying it does, it's does. it been helpful for me, that's for sure. But man, some people can just... They go through this game like experts they don't even get you know they get no wolf struggles they spend like 500 days on here no wolf struggles eventually i'd like to be that good at the game and I, i'd like to think i've gotten a little bit better since you know we've been playing and i've been doing episodes but you know i'd like to get better for sure there's always room for improvement there's always room for improvement but uh, yeah we are uh Traveling. We're making our way. Definitely making our way. This episode might be a little bit more of a longer one, because we are moving kind of slow here. I was kind of hoping we'd have I've been a lot closer to point of disagreement by now. But we have not. So, still traveling. 
Still kind of going kind of slow. We will get some food at the plane, which is nice. Really nice. But it's not a place we can really sleep. Um, very easily. You know, can't rest soundly because of the cold. And the danger of the wolves. But we're making our way. And I've got the revolver here, if need be. Uh, the weather's looking, I don't know, the weather's kind of alright, I guess. It's not too, too bad, but it also could be better. I can still see fine, so that's what I care about. I'm just worried this could turn into a blizzard. Or heavy fog. That could be really bad if it did that. But we are getting further up here. We're almost to the plane crash. I'm gonna put our revolver away for now. I'm gonna pick up some sticks. Because we might need to make a snow shelter for the night. And if we do, I don't want to be up there. How many have we got so far? Nine, huh? Mm -hmm. How many we get from these? Let's do this. There, we got enough sticks to make a snow shelter. Tempted to make one right here. I am tempted to make one right here. But... Hmm, you never know. It is getting towards night. I would like to get to the plane. I'm gonna grab a revolver just in case. I would like to get to the plane and get, uh... And get some. There's a cave here, actually. There is a cave. I forgot all about this cave. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can stay here. I forgot all about this cave, actually. Burn Ridge Cave. Yeah, I forgot about you. Ah, oh, there's a rifle here, actually. Interesting. Just what I need. Interesting. Feels like a lot of gear. Pick you up. Search through this. Oh, cellar. Nice. How much warmth do you give me? Give me 3.6. I believe my bedroll is better. We're gonna come back here to the back of the cave. Actually, let's check the rifle. I don't think they come with any ammo in them. But we can check. Yeah, nothing. So we'll drop you. We don't need you. But I forgot we had the cave here. And we got food. And we have water. So... We're gonna do is we're gonna pass some time. Okay. Now we're going to eat. What do we want to eat here? We're gonna eat the heavy stuff first. Pork and beans. We can eat that. We can gulp that down. Because we are going to grab some plain food, which is pretty good stuff. So we're going to eat through some of our food here. We'll eat some in the morning. Might as well have a full stomach. You know, might as well. Let me see these candy bars here. Okay. Drink this soda. We can drink some more water. That'll do us for the night, and then we can sleep. I'm going to sleep two hours at a time. Because that's the safest way to do this, and I'm, I don't plan on dying out here to the old cold. <laughs> what a way to go. Survive all the wolf attacks. 
and then gets killed by cold. That would be funny. Would also be terrible. So I'm gonna sleep another two hours. Sounds like the weather's getting kind of terrible. I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't sound like good weather. But two hours at a time, get through the night. Sleep another two hours. Not really the greatest sleep we've ever had, but it's definitely safer than just trying to sleep for the whole night. Because that could lead to, uh, fr not frostbite, but it could lead to hypothermia very quickly. And it could just lead to us dying, so. And there's wolves out there, that's for sure. But we're going to pick you up. We're going to drink what water we have. I'll have to make some more water. can probably find some over at the Prepper's Cache. But, uh, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode, so... If you guys did like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And definitely check out some other content if you're interested in that. And don't forget to check back for the next episode of Long Dark where we do make our way into Ash Canyon. So, uh, well, we're going to try at least to make our way into Ash Canyon. I don't know how far we'll be able to get. Probably be able to get there. But I'm not sure yet. So, anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you guys keep being awesome.